Hello YouTube, welcome to another tutorial. This is Chesco from STEM APKs. In this tutorial we're going to be dealing with, uh, we're going to take where we left off uh, in, in, I believe in tutorial 6. In tutorial 6 I show you how to convert images, extensions from uh, like let's say from a PNG to a JPEG or from a JPEG to a PNG. Uh, and I show you how to use it e using computer vision and image magic. In this tutorial, we're not going to be doing uh, the extensions, but we're actually be. Do I'm going to show you a, an easy way to change uh, the actual name of the picture. Why is this important? This uh, this website right here is a very good one. It's computer vision data sets on the web. When you want a, a lot of pictures. Uh, and you you wanna you know like they have for face recognition license cars pedestrian databases faces databases it they 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 have huge amounts of uh, of images and uh, you can download them and uh, at no cost and uh, but as you can see some of them they're they're some of them have 56,492 pedestrian labels. I mean, imagine trying to change them one by one. It will take you a lo very long time. So there's, there's a, this is a, a big data set, so it's used a lot. The Caltech for cars, motorcycles, airplanes, faces, leaves, backgrounds. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, you should go in here and, and take a look. It's, it, it'll be, um, it will come handy. But um, like I said, for example, let's say that you, you're downloading uh, flowers to use, uh, let's say, on a website. And, and you're downloading from the web and, like, save image, you know, and then the name is index, index JPEG, okay? You don't want to save it as index JPEG because uh, there might be another index JPEG here. And... Uh, that one is also index JPEG. So you go, you're either going to do index 1, index 2, index 3, and, and so on. But you might not want to do that one by one. Let's say that you, you there's a, an easier way to do it. And, and this tutorial, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. Um, in this, I'm going to show you, before I show you the code, I'm going to explain. It's the code that I'm going to show you is going to parse through the files. It's going to split and the lines and return them into a new line. It's going to change the picture name into the new picture name. And it's going to, at the end, it's going to change all of them at once. Okay. And let me open this. Uh, for example, these are all picture names here. And these are the ones that you can see right here. This I'm going to change them all of these using this program right here, Group Picture Rename Pi, and it's going to take all of these pictures right here, and it's going to change them. Uh, it's going to change the the name from Pretty Flower to whatever name we pick. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is by running this code right here. Oops, not group. And this is the code. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to include uh, a copy of the code in the description under the the video, and you can, you know, it will become handy. Trust me. And like I said, like I explained here, it's gonna. In here, it's doing the parsing. Right here, in this one, it's sta it's starting to do the splitting. And um, in this one, this function, the change picture name function, is changing the, the in, in, from the old picture name into the new picture name base. And then here is using the move command, like we use in the shell in Linux, uh, to change names. It's doing the same thing, but it's doing it right here. It's using the move command from, and changing the, from the old picture name into the new picture name. And then here it will change all the picture names, and you're gonna see it when I run it. You're gonna see all of them change at once. Okay, so let's run it. Oops. Control X. No. And let's run it. Pi. And it's 
gonna go from pretty flower to let's call it pick from a big long name to a little name okay and you're gonna see it on this screen changing these are the ones that are gonna be changing all of these ones right here you're gonna see them as they change and let's run it and as you can see they all change all at once it went from pretty flower it went to a a, a, a small name, a much shorter name, okay? And uh, it's so you can do them all at once. I mean, if you have huge, I mean, if you only have five, ten, you can do it by hand. But if you have hundreds of thousands, I don't think you want to be doing them individually. There's another one, uh, another program here. As you can see, this one has a, is separated by a dot. You see the all the ones that we changed they were all separated by a dot and uh, which it makes it a little bit easier in some respects but there's uh, other pictures that are not separated by a dot uh, like these ones for example picture one there is no dot the one and the and the letters are all one and so these ones are a little bit harder because you have to uh, get in Oh, by the way, before you, these, the way that you can create dummy pictures like this, you just use touch and then picture, picture 8 PNG, and you create it. You, as you can see, it's being created right here. Now I'm going to do a touch picture 9. PNG, and you're gonna see it being created right there. The way we, I'm doing it. I mean, there's there are scripts that you can uh, create dummy files, dummy, uh, and uh, and but when you're only doing ten, I mean, you just can do them individually. But if you want to do like create a hundred dummy pictures, yeah, I, I don't think you want to do them by hand. There are create uh, scripts that will uh, create them for you. Okay, let's get back to here. Now let's let's change those. Like I said, there's not being separated by a dot. So it's, it's, we gotta use a different approach. We're gonna be using a, a, um, a module called group regular expressions. Okay, I think this came originally from Perl, I believe. Um, we're going to import the uh, regular expressions module and uh, it's, a, it's, it's really good, it's used a lot in, in parsing of websites or text in lang natural language processing it uses it a lot and we're using, it's almost the same file but uh, as you can see here this is using it's using the regular expressions right here I don't know if you know a little bit about regular expressions that is something that that is is uh, is is good to learn because uh, you you're gonna be using that a lot if you do a lot of parsing. So it's it's uh, there's a, a lot of good books out there that explains it and and they go you know into uh, one by O'Reilly, uh, regular expressions I believe or by O'Reilly it's really good. Um, it's worth reading, and it's gonna use these. And it's going to uh, to split it, and you're gonna see it the being created here. Okay, so we'll do it, and let's run it. Python. <coughs> Excuse me. Python. Group picture rename, but with an re pi, and let's from picture like is here let's call it uh, what can we call it we can go from picture to pretty flower we could do it backwards this time pretty flowers dot com okay and you're gonna 
now see it and, and here being created as, as, uh, as once I hit enter. Okay. And you can see that they all change to from from picture one, it went to prettyflower.com one, prettyflower.com two, prettyflower.com three. And you can change it you can change any any to any name. I mean you can go from from prettyflower.com. I don't think you want a a really long name like that, but let's say that you want to go from prettyflower.com one to uh, picks. Okay, and you're gonna see it as they change. Okay, you're gonna see it right here. They're gonna change. And they're changing, and they all went from prettyflower.com into picks one, picks two, and picks three, and so on. Okay, I hope uh, you like this tutorial. Uh, and this will become handy, especially when you're dealing with large data sets. And uh, like always, if you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe. And I will see you next time with another tutorial. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.